up and shit. We got a chip. Pull up and dip. Water clear. Water. She gon' stare. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about this makeup look right here. So if you guys wanna know how to achieve this look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to be taking these two foundations and mixing them together. The Milani one is a bit too light, so that's why I mixed it with the Healthy Elixir to get my shade. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my face. Now with this brush, it works wonders, you guys. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. It's like a beauty blender inside of a brush. It's amazing. Now I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. The doe foot applicator on this brush is very large and wide, which makes it easier to apply your concealer. And now I'm going to be using this brush from e.l.f. It's a tapered brush and I just like to go around the edges of the concealer. I don't like to touch the middle of the concealer because it just takes away the product that you put there. So just blend around the edges. For powder, I'm going to be using the Airspun Setting Powder. I don't recommend this if you guys are going to take pictures unless you put another setting powder on top of it because it will give you flashback. But I like the way that this sets my under eye, so I'm just going to be using it today. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using the 25B Morphe palette and I'm going to be using neutral colors today. I'm going to be using the orangey shade and putting it all over the eye. I'm going to be using a second color as well just to deepen up the crease. I'm going to be taking the same shade that we used and I'm going to be putting that on the bottom waterline of my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking a packing brush and using the excess powder to set all of my face. As you guys could tell in the beginning, I didn't set my whole face with powder because I like to do this step so that I don't use a lot of powder. Now for contouring and bronzing, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild contouring palette and put that all over my forehead, my cheeks, my nose, my jaw. I really love bronzering. Bronzering? That's like bronzer and contouring together. Okay, anyways. 
I really love bronzing up my face. I feel like it gives you shape and definition. And yeah. I'm going to be taking the same airspun setting powder that we used in the beginning and I'm going to cut under my contour and bronzer so that it will give it a sharp look. Now I'm just going to be curling my lashes. This lash color is from CVS, it's really pretty, and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and it has to be waterproof because my eyelashes are straight, and with any other mascara, it will fall, so it has to be waterproof. For lashes, I'm going to be taking my AliExpress lashes in the style D808. These are my everyday lashes besides the D22s. And both of the links to the lashes are in my previous video. And you guys could go check that out. I'll link it somewhere above this video. As I said before, you guys need another setting powder to cancel out the flashback of the airspun. So I'm just going to be using my MAC Studio Fix powder and brush off all of the powder. I just grabbed some wet wipes to wipe off my lips because I hate when it looks ashy like that, like, no thing. Now taking this beat up blush palette, I'm going to be using a stippling brush to apply my blush. To set all the powders together, I'm going to be using the Revolution Hyaluronic Spray and this will just mesh all the powders together so it doesn't look cakey and it also helps to prep for highlight. For highlight, I'm going to be taking the ABH Collaboration with Amrezy Highlight and look at the way it dips you guys. Spraying my brushes will help prep for the highlight. And I'm just going to be highlighting everywhere, my nose, my inner corners, my brow bones, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my cheeks.
Now to set everything that we put on our face, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Rose Setting Spray and just spraying that all over using my fan to set it in. This is the lipstick that everyone's been asking me for on TikTok, on Instagram, on Snapchat. What lip shade are you using? And this is the one. It's the Maybelline Matte Superstay in the shade Amazonian. This lipstick will not come off whatsoever. You literally need to scrub it off your lips for it to come off. So that's why I only apply it around the lips and just blend it in together. And that's how you achieve this look. A lot of you guys have been asking me what products I've been using, what lashes I've been using. These lashes, if you guys did not see my last video of the AliExpress lashes, you guys are sleeping on these lashes, I'm telling you. I linked them all in my other video, and these lashes are only $2. Yes, $2. So, go get you some AliExpress lashes. And this is what they look like. And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up down below if you did. Subscribe down below if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Money.